Hey everybody, how you doing? Doing good. Well, I just thought I would do something because I bought this little bowl, I guess. It has kind of little ridges on it, which is kind of cool. Never had one with that before. Uh, anytime you're going to pour over a glass, you don't have to guess of it and all that. Uh, just make sure you take off all the stickers. I had to take off the sticker on the top with you know, an exacto blade. Get it off as much as possible. I mean, you know, what, what are these called? And then you can take off your stickers with the alcohol. And then you want to wash, wipe down your glass with uh, alcohol also. That must be on the inside. That's it. Because you want to take off all the oils, you know, from people's fingers and stuff. Touching it in the stores. And, and then what I'm going to do is just pour on top of a canvas to save the drippings. Make sure you always tighten. Spray it first because it's heavy for one thing so you should do that anyway regardless anyway let's get started I picked some of our favorite colors I know El Spicy loves this color too so do I like between a blue and a purple ultramarine one of my very favorites of course I have so many I'm going to use the Blue Harbor Deco Art Matte. Of course, this is a transparent. Then we have the Blue Cloud, which is a multi surface premium satin. So we've got a big mixture here matte, satin, transparent so far. And then Indian Turquoise, which is matte. And then I have Artist Loft Black Flow. And I am going to add just a tad bit of white. I'm not going to use white, but I'm going to add just a tad bit to this. Which one was this one? Uh. Oh yeah, the blue cloud, because I want it a little bit brighter. Not much. That should do it. So I just want to kind of get a little hint of white going on in there. And I just mixed these so they should all be at the right consistency. That didn't change a whole lot, but it, it will show up bright. I don't want to use this color and the white because then you're going to just, and when you use glass, it'll be too bright. When you use glasses, do glasses or jars, dark colors are always the best because light's too transparent. So good consistency. <clears throat> Check the artist loft. Yep, looking good. When it's kind of, it can mount in just for a few seconds. Like if you go like this, you get a little mountain, that's good. That's okay. But this is the way I want it. Sometimes it's a little better to have it a little thicker when you're doing glasses. But we're doing a canvas and glass, so. Okay, that's it. So, there's no silicone and they're all filled with the two parts Floetrol, one part paint, and just enough water to bring them to a warm honey consistency. So, that's it. And, yeah, that's it. Oh, I think I covered everything. So, get started. Now, you know, at the end, once you're done pouring, this was going to be mostly on the top of your glass. So, 
I'm going to do this this way. I want this to be on the top more so. Like are my last colors, you know. See that's some because that's deco art. That'll probably sell up on this tray. I just about bet that turquoise will. little bit of black not a lot So requires, let's see, 14 by 14 requires 7 ounces, but since we're doing a base and I want to make sure to get my sides covered, I always add a little extra ounce for that. And then of course if I don't like something, I have enough paint to, to pour it off. So always better to have more than not enough. So I hope the jar comes out more darker than lighter. <coughs> I am wheezing. Wow. Okay, so my son Daniel is here filming for me. Say hi, Daniel. Hello. <laughs> my oldest son is 31. So that's it. We're just going to kind of do a little swirling around it. Just little circles here and there. Just keep going around. Hopefully you get the whole thing covered. See around the edges. And hopefully it's not going to start going off in the back. I'm just going to stop for a second and help these little sticky spots around, or the one that's not covering our, just to get them. Sometimes they just want to be stubborn. I can't see it in the back. I don't have my turner. I should have turned my thing on. Well, can you see it in the back? Look in the back, tell me if there's any bare spots. No? Okay, yeah, I think so. Alright, then, then continue on. Then you know you've got all your spots. That was sure pretty, wasn't it? Comes my favorites. It's going to be a squiggly one. <laughs> this sure is pretty. It's okay if it's 
it's pouring off on the end there. That's really pretty. So what I'm going to do next really quick, because I want to save that. I don't want all of this to be dripping off in there. You know, a lot of people don't do this, but who cares what the bottom really looks like. Let's help it along a little bit there. Okay, so that's pretty. Let's check it out. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Oh, it's the bomb. Okay, so now. Oh, I love it, don't you? All right, so now you're gonna be careful you don't smudge all your paint and your pattern and all that. Pick it up very carefully. And lay it aside real quick. There we go. That's it. Now that'll continue to drip for a while. Let's do this now. Let's see what this does. See if it turns into mud or not. Kind of looks pelican-y, huh? It really does in a way. the jar better as a bowl. Kind of weird looking in a way. Well, it's pretty. It's just nothing going wild to me. That's kind of neat in the middle though. It does have that pelican look that I've seen people do. Good mixed media girl did one the other day, but it was so many different colors, that's why it turned out really cool. And it looked just like pelican feathers and stuff. And the pelican. See how it's kind of like has that swirl in there? That's the way hers was too. With the feathers. So that's cool. I like it. Uh, let me go ahead and torch it. Bad. It's pretty cool. Definitely cool. Let's look at it this way. Let's check it out this way too. Yep. Did have that pelican effect. Everything's good. And we're done. So let's take a look at the jar. Try to turn it around slowly. I love this. 
That is so cool. Try to get down, like sit down on the chair and then get level. I love it. So it looks like it's a little off level maybe. But that's all good. Okay, so we're done. This is cool. Not bad. This kind of could be more, a little more colorful or something, but it's all good. I'm happy with it. Did the light turn off? Okay. Sure, look, yeah, it did. It's okay because I have my blinds open, so hopefully I have good lighting here today. All right. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you're having a good day. I am. I uh, had a good birthday yesterday for Tanner. Thanks a lot for all the birthday wishes. He said thank you. And, uh, yeah, I have a teenager now. Another one. <laughs> After so many years. But it's all good. He's a good boy and we love him to death. So, you guys take it easy. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.